Hi, my name is Simin. I'm a sports nutritionist at Institute Sukangara. I work with the Malaysian national team athletes to provide sports nutrition services to support them to perform optimally in sports. I has also recently attached with the Malaysian contingent to the Southeast Asia Games in Hanoi, Vietnam to support the national team. During the SEA Games, sports nutritionists play a role in monitoring the diet of athletes to support refueling and recovery of athletes according to the demands of the events. For example, I was working with the Taekwondo sparring team during the competition in SEA Games by providing nutrition support for weight making to prepare for weight in before the competition. Besides, I also need to monitor their hydration and diet to ensure that they are able to recover optimally for the matches. Other nutrition services such as body composition assessment, nutrition education, dietary consultations were also conducted prior to the departure of the competition. Monitoring of body composition is conducted according to the sports periodization plan of the sports categories as different sports may have different body composition requirements. One of the methods being used to measure body composition is a skin flow measurement, which is a general field method to observe the physical changes of sports that have a high demand in physicals. Other than that, sports such as cycling has a higher demand of limb body mass that could also use DEXA for monitoring, whereas uh, the more convenient method is by using bioelectrical incidence analysis, which allows us to monitor the cemental limb mass. It is also more convenient for the sports in a mass group such as team sports, especially when regular assessment is needed at different training phases. Yes, their body composition changes according to the training programs. So during the off-seasons, when there is no competition going on, the athletes might experience muscle loss and fat gain due to lower training intensity that result in lower energy expenditure. So pre-season is a good timing for reconditioning of body composition based on the target. For example, like gaining muscles to achieve a better strength and power maybe two to three months before the competitions. Most of the time, athletes will achieve an optimal body composition during the in-season period. However, reduction of limb body mass might be observed at the end of the in-season as the strength and conditioning exercise is lessened. The changes of in-body composition can be monitored in each training phase by using DIA to ensure that the progress of body composition is on track and also assisting the nutritionist to identify the effectiveness of the intervention. The dietary intervention for the athletes during off-seasons is targeting for body composition maintenance by minimizing the muscle loss and prevent excessive fat gain. So during the pre-season, as the season progress, we will focus on athlete's targets like gaining muscle mass by increasing protein intake and obtaining calorie-dense foods along with proper conditioning training. On the other hand, just in case that they need to reduce body fat mass, the athletes should increase the intake of nutrient-dense foods and lower calorie food to create a calorie deficit. In ISN, the BIA device is commonly used for group assessments that involve a large groups of athletes. It is a more practical, convenient and non-invasive option for these athletes. However, for individual athletes, BIA is used to complement together with skin flow measurement to track the changes of limb body mass, especially for the athletes that have a special target like gaining limb body mass, for example, hypertrophy on lower limbs. The printer result sheets provide informative information such as muscle fat analysis, fat mental lean mass and fat mass, as well as the body composition history. It is convenient for the sports nutritionist to explain the body composition changes to the athletes and coaches. And also by looking at the result sheet, it allows the athletes to understand how their dietary practice and training program could affect their body composition. So it can help to further motivate them to improve by knowing what works the best for them.